Hi, I'm here at the HPE booth. I'm Ronald van Loon. I'm director at the Data and Next Consultancy firm. I'm blogger, vlogger, and I host a series of webinars. I'm here with Norbert Ryle. Norbert, welcome. You're director at HPE Point Next and from the IoT service division. Maybe you can give a short introduction about yourself as well? Yes, sure, thank you. So, yes, I'm working at HP Enterprise in the Point Next service organization. I got an engineering background, manufacturing background, working more than seven years for an industrial equipment company, working in industrial equipment consulting space for various companies for more than 10 years. And now I'm heading our IoT services worldwide. And if we talk about IoT, we see many, many different solutions. But the main question is, how can you get value out of IoT? Can you explain how we can do that? Well, let me try at least. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's a right term value and it's about speed, right? So it's all about the time to market or time to value. And there are several ways how to do it. First, I think the first learning from all our customer engagement is we need to find the right balance between high level top down approach with a end in mind and bottom up approach to be quick and crisp and implement real solution in a decent amount of time with low risk and this has the right outcomes for a specific use case. And can, can you give a specific use case? Well, I think there are the, in, the, in the industrial space, specifically in the discrete manufacturing space, there's this kind of overwhelming single set of use cases around predictive maintenance, asset management, asset performance management, both for the internal manufacturing space but also for the products, yeah, to have a product as a service or to sell no longer as a product in, an, in, a, in a CapEx model, but in an as a service model. These are the main use cases we see on the market. And what are typical challenges that companies that are trying to implement IoT solutions are facing? Yeah, very good point. I think there are several classes or types of challenges. So there are a set of companies who already started and did a lot of good work and they have a lot of experience, but they're still not really happy with the results. So not being happy with the results means either they expected more business direct outcomes or they got stuck in a specific phase of their transformation and don't know how to continue. So it's a challenge of the right skills where you sometimes need to complement your skills with external expertise or just a simple uh, point of change management, so addressing the people factor in a transformation, and we're talking about transformations. If you want to more get out, out of IoT, it's about a mid-large scale transformation of your business parameters, and this requires a specific set of skills, which is not always there. And the final point I would say is, um, it's all about data, and it's about where and how quickly to process the data either in real time or in the right way which is required for a specific use case. And the options are really very, very, very widespread. So you need to select the right way, the right technologies, the right products, which is complex. Norbert, thanks a lot for the great insights. Thanks a lot for watching here from the HPE booth. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.